Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the Erica Sins Black Jewel VCF. So in this video we're going to have an in-depth look at the Black Jewel VCF but if there are any specific things you want me to dive even deeper into uh, leave a comment below because I'm considering doing a well a further video a, a further deep dive into this module later on so uh, leave it in the comments below right um, other than that we are closing into a hundred subscribers so we can indeed close off the Strymon giveaway and I've got the next giveaway lined up already so that will be a make noise giveaway so uh, let's hear it for them as well uh, other than that, I do have to thank Erica Sins for making also this module, just like the graphic VCO available to me. And I would say, well, hope you enjoy this. Have a great time and I'll uh, see you back at the end. So this is the Black Jewel VCF by Erica Sins. And I'm just going to run you through the module itself. And then we're going to look into some of its features and what kind of sounds we can get out of it. So first off, you've got your color frequency settings which you can indeed link together by using this switch, which actually means that you're gonna override the second button, or knob I should say, uh, by the first one. And then you've got your, um, your high pass, band pass, and low pass selector, but that will only influence the sum out. It will not in any way, shape, or form influence any of the other outputs. And then you've got your resonance setting, which will indeed light up. And before I forget, let's point out this 16 LED, 16 band spectrum analyzer there as well, which I at first thought was just a gimmick, but the immediacy of that feedback was actually quite useful. So I tend to like it and I'm now ending up using it, using this uh, module in any of my patches because of that because of the immediacy it's going to immediately tell you what kind of sounds you're generating and I, I ended up loving that nifty little feature um, then you've got your attenuators for level in and for your CV for resonance CV for cutoff frequency for both of the uh, filters of course and because you've got your level settings there and you've got that summed output this also acts as a two channel mixer, which is actually quite nice, especially since I haven't got a mixer yet. So this is now the de facto mixer in my, in my rack. Um, then you've got your um, audio in, your CV for resonance and cutoff frequency. And then you've got your three outputs for any, for all three of the, of the modes, of course, high pass, band pass and low pass. And then you've got your sum out. And the fun thing is, if you only connect one audio in, you can actually use both of these filters on that one input. And you can select if you want to do that in parallel or in series. And that, of course, allows for some very interesting sound shaping, uh, which we'll dive in immediately, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a really sharp triangle wave from the nano modules owner there you go which you can then see how we eat up the higher frequencies and how that triangle wave is morphing into a sine wave if we then connect it to the high pass output you'll see that the filter already applies some color to the um, to the wave shape which is quite normal for a high pass filter. But again, you get such great looking wave shapes and such a nice rich sound out of that. I'm just turn it that way and then grab the band pass. Really great. And then if we connect it to this summed output, and put it in parallel mode you'll see that if I open up both of these both of them are now in low pass mode so if I select a high frequency both are open if I turn this down we lose all signal 
if I close this one down we lose all signal but of course the nice thing is of course if you put this one in high pass mode and this one in low pass mode or maybe in band pass mode you can do so many nice things so you now have your own custom band pass implementation of course and that's really nice and the other thing you can of course also do is say well okay I want to do a high pass first and a low pass after that you can build your your very own specific filter setup with with this way and then if you put it in parallel you can do all sorts of nice things in wave shaping the wave you want to you want to grab let's see what I can do with this something like that as mentioned it's a great little thing that we can do so what I would like to do now is I want to connect some audio to this so I want to uh, grab the MIDI that I got from uh, Clemens Vias Music Productions and play that so you can hear how it sounds in this in a song so now in the band pass we're in the high, high pass mode So it's almost a bit chip tuny, right? So let's grab a sub from the same oscillator. So this is two octaves below. And, and add that to the mix. Maybe put it a bit high. That's nice, isn't it? So what we can also do is we add some resonance to this. And as you hear, it will self-resonate. So that's something that we can work with. So what I'll do is I'll just disconnect both of these and let's turn it into self-oscillating. And not do that for the second one. And then grab the CV for the cutoff frequencies. And we've got ourselves another oscillator. This is of course really nice if you then combine it and add the sub back into the mix. What we can then also do is grab the gate for this and add that to the resonance. And this already starts to sound like a very nice techno sound in the song. The only thing is missing is it is a beat if you ask me. It's such an overdriven sound. I love this. So the, what did we look at? So we, we had a look at the actual layout of this module. Um, we talked about the characteristics of the sound of it. Uh, we talked about the applications there, of course, how we can use this for sound shaping. Um, we talked about the self-resonance of, uh, of the filters. 
and all in all, this is, together with the Z2040, these are my most favorite filters. Um, I love that you can use it as a, as a mixer as well. I love that you can do so many things with this and truly create your your dream sounds uh, as of sorts. So a great device and again I want to thank Erica Sins for making this available to me. Many many thanks and I would say well let's go back to the studio and wrap this up but let's just listen for a bit right? So, I hope you enjoyed and learned a thing or two about the Erica Synth Black Dual VCF, which I think is one of the best filters I've ever seen, and it's so versatile, and it's so multifunctional, so uh, I'm going to have that in my rack for quite some time, I expect. Um, other than that, so my next video will be on the Bafaco Lich, which is a programmable module. I'm really looking forward to that, as I mentioned in my Clubhouse Shorts from last week. Um, other than that, I would love to ask everyone to yeah, please like, comment and subscribe. As mentioned, we are closing into the 100 subscribers, so uh, let's get it over with. Um, other than that, I would say please stay healthy, stay safe. And I hope to see you next time. Cheers.